this is a video showing the de demonstration on how to solve y equal to x square minus 2 using the bisection method. Before we start, we just let you know regarding the bisection method. What we first have to do is we have to find first two values. We have to guess a and b. Uh, to these two values which we have to guess in such a way that the root which we are supposed to find in the equation lies between a and b. Now what's the method of finding these two values? Is what we can we can guess any value from integer minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, 0, 1, 2, we can guess anything and b also we can but we're going to guess in such a way that once we guess the value a and b and if we put in this equation f a into f b should be less than 0. Now how would you do this? Let's show you this uh, part in Microsoft Excel. The equation is y is equal to x square minus 2. So I made it ready y function of x is equal to x square minus 2. Now we can't put this 2 as a square out here so we just left it like this. And what we have to do first thing is this area. Okay so what we're doing is here is we can guess a value anything so we have to guess such a value that we we can take any range like say minus 5 minus 4 and that value we have to put it in this and we have to get the equation we have to get the value so let's say for example we start guessing from you can start guessing from minus 10 minus 9 minus 20 so let's start do with something like say minus 5 okay um, minus 4 then minus 3 and then we increase it now if we want to increase it, uh, what we can do is instead of um, increasing by manually, what in Microsoft Excel there's a function. You select this two house, okay, and then you drag it from the corner, and they will create some different value here. Now these values, for example, this minus five, we will put in this equation. Say if this is x, so fx will be we need to put the value in this to get the value of fx. So how are we going to do this? Let's see. We come here. Go to this formula bar. Say equal to. And what's the formula? x square minus 2. Meaning um, this value should be multiplied by itself. x into x and then minus 2. So what you do is equal to. Select this bar. Say multiply. And again select this. So meaning you're doing indirectly x square and then minus 2 you type it separately so once you do this the value comes this you can check it like say for example if I put minus 5 here so minus 5 square is 25 25 minus 2 is 23 now to get the fx value for all the thing what we need to do is we need to just select this one drag it to the bottom and we get these values so now let's say for example which are the two values we're going to take and according to the theorem we told you you're going to choose a and b such that so that f a into f b is less than zero in other words one of them value has to be negative either this is negative or this is for uh, this is negative and this is positive or this is positive this is negative so that when you multiply both it should be less than zero so let's say if this is a this is b and the value of this both are positive so we can say the root does not lie between this and this so we need to ignore this again if i say if i pick up this two value now their fx value is again both positive so that means if we multiply those two it'll be um, for example if this is a this is b so this will be f a and this will be f b and when we multiply both are positive will be more than zero so it's, it's definitely not going to we can't take this two value so what we are going to do in a simplest manner we just going to see those f a and f b value which is have opposite sign so say for example if I go over this two one so you can see that this if I take this as a for instance and if I take uh, take this value as b then this f a value this is let's say function of a and function of uh, b value if you see it let me select it and make it in the middle center so it is easier so for example if I see this one let me change the color oh. so if you can see that if I take a and b this one so f a and f b is 
changing the sign. Is changing the sign mean if you multiply both of them, it could be less than zero? So that means definitely the root lie between minus two and minus one. So we can take the range, this two range we can start with. And another thing, when you can see down the line, if you can see this two, is another which you can see that if a this is a and this is b, then this f a and f b is changing the sign. That means now uh, you have. You have another root between 1 and 2, and you have right. You have one root lie between minus 2 and minus 1, and you have another root lie between minus 1 and minus 2. Sorry, 1 and 2. So we need to guess, do this guessing before we start the actual problem to get the value of a and b. So let's start. We want to start from here. If you want to start from here, so we can we can do this one, but let's do this one, and then then I'll show you how to do this one. So let's take the value a as 1 and b as as 2 and and then we can start off. So this 2 is the first thing we need to decide. So let's this is part of your solution. So copy this and uh, you need to put into your assignment. So for example, if this is a solution, so let's say for example Okay, so there you go. So now let's say we start with the problem here. Now here, if you see the question to the remain theorem, what it says here. Once you got A, once you got B, so to get F A and F B is very easy to get it. For example, what is the formula? X squared minus 2. So meaning, to get F A, what you do is press equal to there, go to the formula bar, say equal to, and if this is A and if you want F A, meaning what? Square minus 2, meaning this one, select this, multiply by, again select this, so meaning indirectly you're doing square of this, minus 2. So you got that value. Now to get for the F B, you don't need to do anything what you simply do it for example if this one is related with this one now this one can automatically be related to this and what simply you need to do is come to this point drag it from here to here and you get simply the next b value because if you put here 2 2 square is 4 4 minus 2 is 2 you got the value so we don't need to and everything we have to do automatic so that we can get everything in an automatic manner rather than doing manually so next theorem says that we have to find a c value which is a root which is lie between a and b which is a mid value so how to get the mid value is simply we add this two and divide by two now we're not going to do again manually we're going to do like equal to so put a bracket say this plus b value and then divide it by two so we got 1.5 and now if this is C, to get FC is very easy, you just simply go equal to, again, this value multiplied by the same value, minus 2. Because according to the equation, you have X square minus 2. So simply multiply with the same minus 2. And once you do this, you get the value of that. Now see, first row of value, we already got that. Now to get the next row and all those things, the rule says that. Now see the step 3, what says? If FA multiply by FC... That means F A is this one, and F C is a new one. So F C is your main one. Remember, C is the new one. Let's say this one. So we have to multiply F C with F A, and say check if it is less than zero. Now, how would you see less than zero? It's simply what you do. Don't multiply it. Just see the sign. If this is plus and this is minus, and we multiply both, it'll be negative. That means it's less than zero. See, if it's both plus or both minus, that means it'll be more than zero. If they're having a different sign, that means one plus here, one minus here, or plus here, minus here, meaning it'll be less than zero. So according to the solution here, it says that if this, from FC, if you multiply FA, and if it's less than zero, then what you do, let B equal to C. Let B equal to C, meaning the new B value will be equal to this value. Otherwise, if it's not that one, then the B value will take its previous value, according to this one, okay? Step four, this, so let's do this one. What he says here, I'm going to B value. Yeah? They want to, so say press equal to, say equal to. And to do this, we can use a command called if. 
So we say if okay if what we say f a into f c. So f a is this one f a multiply by f c and they said if this is less than zero okay if this is less than zero then what it says then b equal to c that means in this b value take the b c value will come up so so you know what's the condition here we said telling the computer to check condition so if this is the condition then in this b value bring c value so see what happening is i'm i'm here in this equation but i'm saying that if this is this then if this is true then this is what action will be taken for the true instance so if this is true then this c value will come up here comma otherwise what is that take the previous value otherwise this value will come here and then close the bracket and press enter if they give you some something like this say yes so you see it comes up and you see like for example if i multiply these two is this one and this one is negative isn't it this is plus and this is minus is negative so if this is negative then they said b should be equal to c that means this c value should come here and it's coming up automatic now look to step four the same thing have we have to do now with fc with what fb so look for here this one now in this one because they said then a equal to c so we have to come a and we say equal to if was that f that means same thing fc into fb so fc into f b so which is here if that is less than zero then what they said a equal to c value that means a value here will come this c, c value will be coming here so i'll say equal to c so if this is true the c value will automatically come here comma if not then it will take its own previous value that means its own previous value and once you done it say yes and it works for itself okay so see check it uh, if i multiply fb into this is plus this is plus so it's not less than zero so if it's not plus less than zero then it's a value should come previous value so see in a it takes previous value so we have done this programming and the same thing now once you got the new a and b you have to get the new fa and fb and as usual i told you you don't have to calculate it simply what you do is select the previous fa and fb drag it and you get the new fa with this value and new fb with this value now don't select all of them because first you have to get fa fb once you got a fb, a fb then for the new c here you come to select the old c and then drag it you'll get the new c but if you would have dragged the whole thing together it won't come because you have to get first new fa fb and then drag it you get this one once you got this one then you need to come up in and drag the next c so first this two then drag this one then drag this one and once you got all the thing now for getting the whole value you simply come and drag as much as you can till whatever range you wanted you drag it and you see that c is called the root so if you see the c value is changing slowly uh, but then when you come up to somewhere to 41213 is depend on what to what decimal places you want it so if you see if you want to four decimal places you can see 4142 is same everywhere so that's a you can stop simply here but then uh, let's say 3553 3598358 if you want to proceed more you can proceed more okay you can proceed a bit more but now you can see the 6262 is same here okay so if you want to stop till here or you want to stop it's up to you i mean you can stop somewhere here you can stop somewhere here so let's say you want to stop somewhere here just now what you can do is so that's your final uh, you got the f uh, one more answer so you got one root actually so you select simply this one control c and then go into your file and then you select it so you say uh, you can just say a little bit finding finding first root between 1 and 2 because we took the range 1 and 2 actually for okay so you see that between 1 and 2 we did this so just put a heading and then put control V so the whole value should come up to show you that this is the root here now simply 
if you want to find we told you as like we have another route between minus 2 and minus 1 so if you want to do this so you can say we finding another route between minus 2 and minus 1 so what we have to do is simply we don't have to reprogram again anything simply instead of taking 1 and 2 we change it to as minus 2 and this one we're going to change it as 1 and once we select the new value of the root will come here so simply again we need to select it and that's a new root which we got it so we simply paste it here and the problem is finished here so this is how you're going to do or find the root of the equation by bisection method okay so in the next video we'll try to show you how to find the root of this equation by another theorem which is called Polsky method simply the only difference is that in this one c was equal to a plus b by 2 but in this c will not be a plus b by 2 will be a into f of b minus b into fa divided by fb minus fa and rest everything remains same so here's the theorem we have put it down and in the next video i will show you how to do that one okay so that's it